G'day everyone and welcome back to Oakvale Wildlife Park. Today we're here with our beautiful koalas. Now this little animal here is Tilly. She's one of our juvenile females and uh, as you can see she's absolutely stuffing her face there with some eucalyptus leaves. Now if you weren't aware, eucalyptus leaves are the only thing that koalas will eat for the entirety of their lives. Uh, that is called being a folivore. Uh, and basically that's just a fancy way of saying that they eat leaves, just like um, a carnivore eats meat or a herbivore eats uh, plant matter. These guys just eat leaves. Now there's a couple of strange things about these guys. Uh, the first one is that they've chosen to eat a toxic species of uh, plant. So it is actually a little bit poisonous. Now the way they deal with this is by having a really, really good uh, digestive system and their kidney and liver filter out the toxins from their blood. So they're um, really, really efficient at that. Now these guys are marsupials, which means they are uh, really underdeveloped when they're born. And then they spend the rest of their time being raised inside of a pouch. So little Tilly here, when she was born, was only about two centimeters long, a tiny little pink jelly bean. And she had to crawl her way all the way up into mum's pouch, where, they, where she then drank her milk. Now when they start to come out of the pouch at a certain age, usually at around five to six months, they will start to want to do the same thing as mum, which is eat these eucalyptus leaves. But there's one important thing they have to do before they eat the leaves, and that is eat pap. Now pap is basically the mother's poo. It's a little bit gross, uh, but they need to eat it because it's full of bacteria and enzymes and all this great stuff that loads up their guts and allows them to be able to digest the really tough fibers that are in these leaves. Now this isn't just something that's specific to koalas. A lot of other animals actually do this and it's a really, really great way of passing on bacteria and um, uh, giving the, their young a really healthy gut. Uh, so it's a little bit strange, but it is really important to their survival. We'll see you next time at Oakvale Wildlife Park.